Kamila, I took a short break. I had to go to Wakanda to find my true heritage. Wakanda forever. All right, my name is Aurel Lua, AKA Oreo Faye, and this is Critics Corner. Woo, woo. All right, starting with the Big Brother Ninja housemates, of course, yes. These housemates now, they have different, they have all sorts of hashtags now. It's not only BB Ninja House, it's the hashtag Horny Ninja House, you know, hashtag Crying Ninja House, hashtag Emotions, name it, guys. This whole couple thing is, is really getting out of control. Anyway, before we go on, let's not forget that Anika and Angel were evicted. I don't know how I feel about the eviction. I feel like they were actually supposed to leave the house because they are not they were not exactly entertaining us i mean anika refused to kiss anybody angel was there just always doing guy guy and doing i don't know i don't know talking talking up and down and never really you know making any interesting thing happen in the house anyway they were bound to leave but you know as usual everybody was there was suspense because silo was up for eviction but the drama continues guys drama continues nina and miracle as far there are a lot of people's favorites. Some people are like, oh, their love is so cute. Their relationship is genuine. My people, it is clearly a situation ship. Clearly. I mean, I know they have a friendship, yeah? But N Miracle is obviously having the time of his life. And Nina is just there. Like, I don't know, I don't know, like, our emotions always cloud everything. You know, when he told the housemates about their sexual encounter, and she was like, oh, I didn't know you were like this. I thought you were different. The girl was like, you don't, you barely even know me, which is the truth, bro. You barely know this dude. You, know, you, you actually just met him, okay, properly met him in the house. And you're here thinking, oh, you no, wake up, wake up, girl. Mm. You know, and all of this did not stop her from, you know, showing him how she, you know, because I saw her playing with banana in the house. Those ones are stuck, Sha. I know Nina is stuck for sure. She's not going anywhere anytime soon. Now, the gangster couple, Teddy A and Bam Bam. Hmm. What a Bam Bam. Hey! So, in the shower, and it went down in the middle of the night when everybody was sleeping. Oh. Anyway, it was obvious that Baba really had the time of his life because it came out looking very satisfied, you know? And Bam Bam had it. I think she did not really know that, you know, a lot of us found out that they had that sex. So she was she was kind of, she was thinking everybody did not know that stuff had gone down. But Mama, we know, we saw you, girl, at the castle. Anyway, you know, it's all entertainment stuff fun. That's what Nigerians want, actually. That's the fun that we are actually asking for. But I mean, this fun, this drama cannot end. Talk, talking about drama, we all know the almighty CC and Toby. First of all, those are the only couple that I know that I have agreed in my mind and I know that they are confused. The confusion is real. I don't understand. Today they are cool. Tomorrow they are not cool. This hour they are cool. The next hour they are fighting. And you know, I personally think that yes, Toby is back to his senses and all of that. But Toby too, he's always acting like he doesn't really know what he's doing. Like he's still acting immature and all of that. And CC is just always being unnecess unnecessarily loud these days. Like is she trying to be the new Chloe or what? What are you trying to do? Like throughout last week, there was drama, drama, drama. She had another issue with Lulu, and you know Lulu <laughs> always running like a chicken. If he hears that this, um, if he hears that this girl is fighting again, he's always running there to go. Cause you know they have one strike left. Nobody's trying to, nobody's trying to get evicted though. You know, like that's how Nina told her that she wants to fight on her body, and she took it up. She, she was very angry. She says an offense to the law. That she can she can actually prove to Big Brother that what Nina said was provocative. But girl, like, it's fat, fat, really. It's not gonna stick on your body. You're not going to die. Like, why so extra? It's not that deep. It's gonna. She's, I, I don't know. Nina is something else, though. But I mean, Sissy has to take it seriously. Like, calm down, calm down. You you're gonna be alright. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Hashtag Honey House Niger. Hashtag erection house ninja. Hashtag marriage house ninja. Hashtag couple goals house ninja. Hashtag porn stars in a building ninja. <laughs> this erection thing is, is a very, uh, it's happening a lot. First, we see Brito, you know, then I think Toby at some point, but it wasn't so obvious. But then Lulu, hmm, ah, Lulu, Anto has gotten you. 
could see. There's no, there's no doubt about it because, I mean, this girl was just conversing with him on the chair and it was really looking like, you know, he was really understanding her and everything. Then big brother called him. <laughs> and he stood up. <laughs> My brother, you should have just sat down. Why did you stand up? So I let them evict you because, oh, hey, lay get the gun. It was a serious talk. I saw it and I'm like, oh shit. He must have been going through a lot, you know, because he was so calm and I'm like, oh, yeah, <laughs> y'all are gonna be fine. But then, you know, Anto is, I don't know why she's not giving us any action yet. I don't know what's going on, but let's watch out for that. All right, let's talk about one auntie, one very, you know, unique person, you know, not so unique that is in the house, that nobody apparently likes her, and she's always just using Ishan and Mozu to do everything. Ifo. I was actually wishing she was the one that got evicted though, although I like Leo, but but then, I don't know, I don't just like her. She's like the female version of, of Angel, you know, always like trying to show herself and sell herself and everything and you know, she talks a lot, she actually talks too much. There was a time she talked about how when she was younger, she was 17, she was helping, she was giving CDQ money, you know, doing relationship stuff and all of that. And of course now, CDQ replied. But then, first of all, that CDQ's reply though, he did not use Okolo to do it. Because he was, I mean, even if you're going to say or deny something, you're not going, you're not supposed to insult her in the process and say, oh, she was just a one night stand. Bruv, you can do better than that. It's not like you've even blown self. I don't understand. What are you like? The girl to say, she does not have sense. Why would you be casting yourself at 17? She ain't got to law school, no she ain't. Is that what they send you? You don't get sense? Is that what they sent you to do in school? You are paying for money and you are not telling everybody on national TV and you know, I paid it for you. Hold your mouth and caution yourself. And you know, CDQ, CDQ, yeah, yeah, I see you, you know, telling everybody that you're just, at least you admitted the fact that you've actually met her. One thing, sure, one thing for sure there. But then, you can do better. You don't have to be insulting people and bringing them down, you know. It's not as if, like I said, it's not as if you have blown like that. Even those that have even blown, that we all know, everybody, we all know that they've blown. They are being humbled. I'm talking about which kid. Which kid has decided to go get a pet? <laughs> and this pet is a goat. Oh. This kid is so smart. Hmm. This whiskey's goat, all I, when I look at this whiskey's goat, all I see is Asun. All I envision. Hmm. Asun can be awesome. Do you know why I think it's smart? Because it's gradually gathering another animal kingdom that will be swallowing money for him. Apparently, that's what's happening in Nigeria. We are swallowing, every, animals are now swallowing money. I heard he's even going to get a monkey next time. All right, you go whiskey, go grab your animal now, everyone. Go grab that animal and make sure it swallows the money. Because, I mean, that's the, another way of making money in Nigeria, isn't it? While we skid, is there gathering, you know, the animal kingdom, trying to make more money for himself, the video said is always chasing after everything in skit. First of all, but we know now. <laughs> like, you have two baby mamas already, though. We know. Yeah. That was how you were probably chasing skit while you were performing and you fell down. Hmm. It is well. Try to be careful though. Remember you have daughters. Two daughters for that matter. Hmm. Okay, it was enough for the wife. You guys. <laughs> They've stolen our girls again. Again. You know, this is time when I wish the people that saved those girls in Wakanda can actually come and save these girls, the Dapchi girls. And I think about Nigeria and I'm sad. And I'm like, I'm sure they've not even finished getting back the Chibo girls and now the Dabchi girls are gone. We actually need to really pray because, I mean, this country, where are we going? It's really sad, you know. And then, I don't want to throw shades, but then, obviously, the government needs to step up. If we need to do something, if the young ones need to come up and, you know, make things right, let's do this. Let's stop letting these things happen because this is our future. These are girls, you know. Hashtag free our girls, please. Let's do something. Let's voice out. Let's make sure the government does something and the girls return to us. And that's all I have for you today on Critics Corner. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe at CAF TV Online on YouTube. And please also follow us on our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And of course, like I always say, if you have something or you have somebody that you want us to yab, 
Reach out, please. I'm going to yell the baby for you. Do not be stupid. I repeat, do not be stupid because I shall come for you. All right, peace out. Yeah, peace out. You know, Wakanda. Peace out, Wakanda. <laughs> can, you, can I go on, please? Just All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I have to go. Yeah. So, I've come to an end. I mean, I'm not coming to an end.